Gary YouTube. I'm back again today for another Andrew Yang policy dive where I take a look at one of Andrew's many, many policies, discuss it, and then give it a grade. So if you want to know more about his policies, be sure to click on that subscribe button down below and ring that bell. But without further ado, let's talk about Andrew's policy for paid family leave. So off the website, America's lack of mandated paid family leave is quite frankly stupid. Robust family leave plans have been shown to improve children's health and increase women's employment rates. We're one of only a handful of countries lacking a federally mandated family leave policy, and the others are Suriname, Papua New Guinea, and a few South Pacific Island nations. So, problems to be solved? First, America's lack of a paid family leave policy results in negative impacts on health, women's employment rate, and family cohesion. Second, a lack of a paid family leave policy forces many single parents, especially mothers, into poverty. Quote off the website, It's embarrassing and unconscionable that in the most advanced country in the world, we don't account for something as basic as needing to spend time with your child when he or she is born. This drives mothers out of the workforce prematurely and impedes healthy development of infants, which is something we all pay for. We need to catch up to the civilized world and mandate paid family leave. So the goals create a federally mandated paid family leave policy, and as president, Andrew Yang will propose and fight for a paid family leave policy requiring employers to offer at least nine months of paid family leave distributed between parents however they see fit, or six months of paid family leave for a single parent. So that's Andrew's policy on paid family leave, and I find myself saying, why is this not a thing? Why does this not already exist in America? I think he said it best at the uh, the third or fourth debate when he played this exact point. There's a list, Suriname, Papua New Guinea, and us that do not have this. Every other country on the planet, developed country, has it. Why do we not have it? So the other thing is, this is pulling at 82%. 82%, and that only gives you essentially three months. What Andrew wants to do is give you more, which means that this is going to pass. This is going to pass so easily. And yes, the Republicans might trim off a month or something like that, or two months, or they might fudge with some of it. But the bottom line is this would be something that could get passed very, very fast. It's immensely popular. And even if it's a watered-down version of what he wants, time length-wise, it's still is absolutely outstanding and essential and the fact that it can help families de-stress because I know, man, I've had two kids and, and that period when my wife had to go back to work, despite the fact she was still like practically tied to both of our sons because, you know, she was feeding them and the schedule and whatnot, it just absolutely makes so much sense to me. The last thing I really like about this policy is the fact that if you're, you're a couple, you can split the nine months together however you see fit and I think giving people that kind of control is really absolutely fantastic. This just benefits us as a society. It's a no-brainer. Paid family leave, absolute A+. Plus. This is something you should absolutely talk more about, in my personal opinion, since it's polling at 82%, and yes. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think about paid family leave? Do you see some issue with it that I apparently have missed? Let me know. Let's get a polite discourse going. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.